Hello, Mariah. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com, and with the help of my GoPro, I'm going to show you how I cut lenses for your Ray-Ban 5184 size 52. I will be demonstrating on color 5139, which is the striped brown, but it will fit any of the 5184 colors that are available. The first thing I'm going to do is to take the frame, put it into the tracing element of my Santinelli LE1000 patternless edger. It is now tracing the shape of your left lens. It's going to pop over and trace the shape of your right lens. And here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, you receive free clear lenses or free clear prescription lenses. Prescription or non-prescription with the purchase of a frame. Because everyone likes a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. So I'm going to pull the shape up onto the computer. If these were prescription, I would be putting in your pupillary distance because these are not. They're known as Plano. I'm going to match the frames PD. This is a polycarbonate lens being cut for a Xyle frame, which is an old school name for plastic. So here are your lenses. There's a lighten up fast tint aspheric lens, meaning that it's not spherical. Spherical. It doesn't have that round, bulging fishbowl look. This is a flatter lens. The curvature is much flatter, giving you much better cosmetics. So I'm, I need to put a block on the lens while it is cutting, while it holds in place for the lathe. So to this block, I'm going to attach this little double-sided sticky pad. It is stuck to the block. I'm going to take the other side off and put that on there. Take your next lens out, put it on my blocker. Get the block ready to go. Put a sticky pad on there, pull off my side, and then down onto that it goes. So I'm going to put your lens into the chuck. And then hit start. The first thing that's going to happen is the this is going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the lens to make sure it is large enough to cut out, which it is, but this is just a routine operation. It is tracing the back side of the lens closest to your eyelashes, which is the concave side of the lens. And then it's going to use this side also while measuring the thickness at the same time, but it's going to trace the convex side of the lens, which is away from your face. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the bottom on the left. There's the lighter color wheel that has a lot of rough spaces like a heavy grit sandpaper that's going to grind away the polycarb. This wheel in the center with the channel is actually what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to have to close the door to continue speaking, but I want you to see your lens touch the cutting wheel. It is now 8.07 on Tuesday, March 18th, 35 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina. <coughs> and while this is cutting, forgive me, we've had two ice storms in a week and... <clears throat> call me a little pony because I'm a little horse. So, two old school sunglass frames. This is the original Wayfarer. Model number 2140, size 50, in the color 901, which is the shiny black. This is the Blues Brothers. This is the classic geek chic look that everyone likes. This, is, this was made in the 50s. In 1992, they came out with the new Wayfair, which I only have one glass lens in for now. But the biggest difference is these are a little bit smaller, much more lighter weight, and they fit in closer to your face. This one has a weird tilt to it compared to this this one tilts away letting light in over the top so in the 90 1992 they redesigned it where it fits in closer to me much more comfortable that's what I wear in all my videos I'm wearing the color oh I can't see the color when I have it off um, actually you know what I've got another one back here I've got to cut tonight in the 55 eye size it comes in two sizes the 52 that I'm wearing and the 55 this is color 6053 which is blue crystal goes very well with a blue and white shirt which I wear a lot of but this look is so popular in the geek chic look that Ray-Ban has come out with the ophthalmic version where this just has clear demo lenses in it that say Ray-Ban I've still got the original ones tucked away down in here so these are I just pull one aside and I use it as a template to cut all lenses by let me pull this right lens out and check the size and I'll keep going. Now, your lens is pretty much done. There are some rough edges, so I'm going to use my hand stone to smooth this out. This is completely flat. I can put my hand against it while it's running. 
but it smooths off all the rough edges. Uh, you see this white substance on here, it's called Schwarf. It is optical sawdust that comes off of a polycarbonate lens. I use my thumbnail, which I've worn a groove into that V-shaped bevel in my thumbnail. My friends call it my occupational thumbnail. But I scrape away all the Schwarf, while it on the counter, and then wipe it on the floor. Because as I'm fond of saying, I went to school for years to learn how to wipe stuff on the floor. Kids don't expect to be able to be able to do it as me as on day one. So I tuck the lens in at the outside corner, and this is how you're going to mount your lens. Tuck it in at the outside corner first. I'm right-handed. I like to have the lens closest to my body that I'm working on so I don't reach over the, the frame. But I tuck it in at the outside corner, and with my thumbs, I push down at the nose. This has still got a little bit more give, so I'm going to take about a tenth of a millimeter off of your lens. And then hit retouch. It's not going to go on the cutting wheel. It's just going to go back to the bevel wheel. You can always cut more off of a lens to make it smaller. You can never add back to it. So these are the original demo lenses that came out. This is the original bag that Ray-Ban sends me. Ray-Ban 5184, the color and then the size. So this is how your frame originally comes. Where these come, both come with G15 sunglass lenses. These come with just little clear lenses. This one happens to say Ray-Ban that you pop in. I have removed those and tucked those away. Now, this is the ophthalmic version of the new Wayfarer. This frame sells for 130, this frame sells for 170. This one comes with glass sunglass lenses, this one comes with clear plastic demo lenses. There's a slight, slight difference. Whereas if I were to pop this lens out and then to take the lenses out, I turn the frame downward. I grab, being right handed, I grab the frame with my left hand. I pull it towards me with my finger and then with my thumb, I push out on the lens that pops out. If I were to try and mount it into the 5184, it's the same shape and it actually goes in, but this is just a hair loose. Hopefully you can hear that rattle. Not enough to make it fall out, but there is a rattle. So I'm going to pop this out very easily, put it back into the 2132, although there's no real need to do it. So I'm going to take it out and put it on the counter. And that is the biggest difference between these three. These are the two classic true sunglass frames made in Italy. This is the ophthalmic glasses that are made in China. 90% of all of Ray-Ban sunglasses are made in Italy. 90% of their ophthalmic glasses, meaning it's designed to have prescription lenses put in, are made in China. Ray-Ban's cases, they look very similar. The 5184 has a Wayfair case with a, with a black button that does not does not say Ray-Ban. The ophthalmic glasses do not say Ray-Ban on the button. Only the sunglasses do. So I'm going to go back to my handstone, remove any of the rough edges. Now these lenses are the unbreakable polycarbonate. They are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection as well as being aspheric, meaning it's a much flatter, doesn't give you that very bulging fishbowl look that cheap lenses will give you. I tuck it in at the outside corner first and with my thumbs push it right in, it snaps in. Let's go ahead and cut your left lens while I can still talk. Put the left lens, flip that over to left and hit start. Take a sip of my hot tea, my Earl Grey tea. Just to quench the throat. And while I'm at it, where's a cough drop? Okay. I do not endorse this brand, it just happens to be nearby. I can clean off that schwarf from the edges there. Of course, more is going to get on there as it cuts. If you notice polycarbonate cuts dry, there will be water running in the background, but not on the lens until the very end of the cycle. So it's now going to begin to cut the left lens. Watch everything cut through the window. A little piece of schwarf that I removed earlier. So, oh, it's trying to run away from me. That one is good. And I lost my pen. Let me, the pen I always write with, let me go and get it. Here is a black one. 
And while this is cutting, I'm going to mark the label. This is a Ray-Ban 5184, size 52, and it is clear. Get in there, get in there. So I'm going to take another foam sleeve. This is what I received my very high dollar expensive invisible bifocal lenses with transitions and anti-glare. And there it is. I'm going to pop your lens out and clean it off. Make sure there are no blemishes or scratches or anything on the lens by holding it up to the light to inspect. It is not. So I'm going to put it inside the first sleeve fold it over for twice the protection and then put it inside this packet and get it ready for shipping. I will also be including one of my cleaning cloths. Whenever this gets dirty, simply wash it at the kitchen sink with dish soap, rinse it out and let it air dry on a dish towel on the counter or a paper towel on the counter. The older it gets, the softer it gets, the better it will clean. So out comes the left lens. <clears throat> dry off your lens again. Have a sip of tea while I'm here. Take the safety bevel all the way around the lens. Use my V-shaped occupational thumbnail to scrape away all this schwarf. Drop it on the counter and then wipe it on the floor. Hey, I gotta entertain myself while I'm working, you know. All right, so now I'm gonna test this size. I tuck it in at the outside corner and using my thumbs, I push down and it's actually still a little bit big, so I'm going to put it inside the machine and take it down another tenth of a millimeter. This late in the day, it's not unusual for to cut a little bit large, which I'd rather have it cut larger than too small. I can always continue to keep cutting. So it's just going to go around putting, taking one tenth of a millimeter off of the around the circumference of your lens. Water is running in the background. You can see my hand is dry. When I put it in here, it is now wet. In a moment, water will kick in from the jets. Hey, perfect timing. And it will wash away the optical debris. This is the only time a polycarbonate lens gets wet while it's cutting. Where plastic or high index, the water is running the whole time. So Mariah in Ohio, I hope this is entertaining for you to see what's involved with making your clear glasses. Now, as I mentioned before, these are these lenses are unbreakable, bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays will do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so think of this as permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Back again to my handstone. Run my thumbnail along the edge to take away the schwarf, and this time I'm just going to stand over the floor while I do it. How's that? There's something new from each video. And now I'm going to see if this mounts in there. I tuck it in at the outside corner first, closest to me, and using my thumbs I press down, and there it snaps in. So I'm going to de-block the lens. There's no need to have that block on there anymore. Pull that out. Dry this off. Do a quick visual inspection to make sure there's no blemishes. I do not turn out subpar work. I cut every single lens that comes out of here. You will never receive something unsatisfactory from me. Unless you choose the wrong side and lens. And Mariah, I'm not going to signal you out. No one knows that you chose the wrong side. Having to send back the other lenses that will fit the that one and then mount into yours. But no one will ever know. That is our secret. So, oh wait, I've already tested. So, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's tuck it into this one. Put this here. And now I'm going to get it ready for shipping. I'm going to put my photo request inside and along with instructions on how to clean the cloth that I'll be giving you. Of course, free shipping here anywhere in the United States. If I can be of any help to anyone, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. And Mariah, hopefully you've gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.